I'm not aware of any no, any any so. rules they've made. I mean, generally speaking, you should be sitting next to your own bubble, sort of thing. So sitting next to some. But witnesses can sit there. Yeah, yeah. you're the two witnesses. So I am. You are. You should be sitting where you can hear, basically. Is it, is it Matthew or Shane? Shane Matthew. So Matthew's your middle name? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's but I don't, use, I don't use my first name. Obviously, oh, so you, you are called Matthew? Yes, yes. Okay, so I'll call you back as Matthew. Yeah. But you'll just do your signature, yeah. and then I'll just write it down. But I'll call you back as Matthew. Yeah. I know where you are, Matthew, now. Yeah. You're going anywhere. Don't leave. And there's Lisa as well. Lisa's there. Lisa's there. Where? Lisa? In the wine. Oh, oh Lisa. Oh, Lisa. There. Yeah, lovely. You're the second witness, aren't you, Lisa? phones to switch them onto silent, please, if you haven't already done. You probably won't get a signal here anyway, but just in case you do, we don't know what's going on. And um, I've spoken to them, and they're happy for you to take photographs throughout the ceremony if you want to. However, they do have an official photographer and, and an official videographer as well. Are you videoing it? <laughs> oh, what, official? Official. <laughs> um. Oh, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the wedding party. Please be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to Burley Manor, this very beautiful setting for this very special occasion, the marriage of Paul and Richie. My name is Sue Andrews, my colleague today is Claire Saul. We are both registrars and members of the Hampshire Registration Ceremonies team. Throughout today's ceremony, Claire will be making the historic and legal record of the marriage in the marriage register, whilst I have the privilege of helping Paul and Richie through their marriage vows. And all of you who have shared and contributed to their lives in the past are here today to witness what is at heart a private moment between two people as they make their commitment to each other and become part of the celebrations later, hopefully. Very select bunch you are today. <laughs> Um, before we start, I'm required to ask you to state your full name, so I'm going to come to you first, Paul. What's your full name? Paul Alan William Maybe. And Richie? Richie Thompson. Perfect. Marriage joins two people who trust the love that they have found. It is a partnership in which each can grow while sharing in the development of the other. And it's a statement all around them that they found the love, support and friendship that they wish to share for the rest of their lives. Today they will affirm their relationship by offering each other security which comes from legally binding vows 
sincerely made and faithfully kept. Paul and Richie, before you're joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you're about to make. Marriage in this country means the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. It provides love and friendship, help and comfort, both in times of joy and in times of trouble. It's not to be entered into lightly, nor is it likely to be set aside. We are gathered here today in this room, which has been duly sanctioned by law for the celebration of marriage. And it's now that I must ask if anyone present knows of any just cause or lawful impediment why this marriage should not take place. They should declare it now. I've got someone sat at the front here who's looking like he's desperate to say something. <laughs> no, he's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> I now have to ask each of you in turn to declare solemnly and truthfully that to the best of your knowledge and belief that there is no lawful reason why you should not be joined together in marriage. So Paul, please repeat after me. I declare that I I declare that I know of no legal reason know of no legal reason why I, Paul Allen William Maybe why I, Paul Alan William Maybe, may not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage to Richie Thompson. To Richie Thompson. Perfect. No pressure, Richie. <laughs> I declare that I. I declare that I. Know of no legal reason. No, of no legal reason. Why I, Richie Thompson. Why I, Richie Thompson. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Paul Allen William Maybe. To Paul Allen William Maybe. Perfect. Paul, do you take Richie to be your husband? Do you promise to love, support and comfort him and remain true to him for the rest of your life, whatever the future may bring? I do. And Richie. Do you take Paul to be your husband? Do you promise to love, support and comfort him and remain true to him for the rest of your life, whatever the future may bring? I do. Well, the moment has now come for Paul and Richie to contract their marriage, so if I can ask those of you who can to please stand so that we can share the moment with them. Marriage is not only a legal contract between two people, it is a bond based on trust and respect that will hold the two of you together throughout your lives. So if you can now turn and face each other and join hands while you make your promises to one another. I ask you to do this because you're about to make a verbal contract before witnesses and the vows you're about to make, you make to each other, so you should be saying them to each other. Uh, the words that I give you are the words that will make you husband and husband. So, Paul, I'm going to start with you, and again, you're going to repeat after me. I, Paul Allen William Maybe. I, Paul Allen William Maybe. Take you, Richie Thompson. Take you, Richie Thompson. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Perfect. 50% married. <laughs> well done, Gina, Richie. I, Richie Thompson. I, Richie Thompson. Take you, Paul Allen William Maybe. Take you, Paul Allen William Maybe. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Well, congratulations. They are actually married now. We've still got a few more things to do. Um, I guess if you'd like to sit down now, please. We now come to the exchange of rings, which is the ancient and traditional way of sealing a marriage contract. The ring is an unbroken circle, which symbolises the unending and everlasting love that you have for one another, and it's the outward sign of the lifelong promises that you have made today. So, Richie, if you could pick up Paul's ring for me, please. And if you could place it on the third finger of his left hand. Stop there for a minute. And if you can just repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And as a symbol of our marriage. <laughs> and of, of 
the symbol of our marriage. Perfect. All that I am. All that I am. I share with you. I share with you. All that I have, I give to you. Not the man. All that I have, I give to you. I commit myself to our marriage. I commit myself to our marriage. Perfect. Well done. If you push the rings completely on now, does it fit? Yeah, yeah it's going to stay there. <laughs> okay, perfect. Paul, if you can pick up Richie's ring, please. And do exactly the same. So you're going to put down the third finger of left hand and just down as far as the knuckle, please, while we say a few words. Paul, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And as a symbol of our marriage. And as a symbol of our marriage. All that I am. All that I am. I share with you. I share with you. All that I have. All that I have. I give to you. I give to you. I commit myself to our marriage. I commit myself to our marriage. Perfect. You'd just like to push that on now. <laughs> it is warm in here. <laughs> you haven't got the rings the wrong way round, have you? <laughs> It's gone. <laughs> May these rings be reminded to you always of the vows that you have made today. Marriage is a, is a desire by two people to share themselves and their experiences with each other and a willingness to accept each other for who they are. It requires devotion, the ability to listen, the wisdom to know when we are wrong and the humility to be able to put things right. Above all, it requires unquestioning love. There are moments in life when you really appreciate your partner, you realise just how much you need them, how much you rely on them, and how much you respect them. Both of you will have attributes that mean so much to each other. It's how you understand and anticipate each other's needs, and how having a sense of humour can minimise the difficulties that life can bring. May your home be a haven for you both to share with each other, and may it always be filled with peace, happiness, love and contentment. Paul and Richie, you've both made the declarations required by law to say that you are free lawfully to marry each other and have made a solemn and binding contract with each other here in, in the presence of your family and friends. So it is now my very great pleasure to confirm that you are husband and husband and you may feel that how you like. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. So ladies and gentlemen, they're just going to sign the register now and at this stage you can't take photographs unfortunately. Um, it's a um, sealed document.
minute. What do you think that we get for me? So, um, either of you can come for me, sign first if you'd like. So, do you want to sign on that line? Okay. What's the source of Oh, it's too easy, isn't there? Sign it, or do you want me to get all to sign? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Just you might rest. As long as you are on that line, yeah. Sorry. No, 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 it's fine.
Oh, you can patiently wait until you oh, want to do something. If you wake up in the morning and think, did this happen, this is the proof. <laughs> Say that it did. Thank so you. I'll push that. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> And it should have done at the end of this year. It's going to be replaced by um, computer generated. So oh, some good has come from Poland. Hey. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I can just ask you to please be outstanding and put your hands together for Paul and Richie. Thank <laughs> you. 